New today, NASA and Boeing admit they still don't have a clear return date for those two astronauts uh, that got up there on the Starliner. They're not technically stuck up there, but it sure seems like they might be stuck up yeah. there. Officials have insisted that SUNY Williams and Butch Wilmore are not stuck. That's right, because there are ways they could get back. We're going to talk about that here in a second, but they aren't at this point ready to commit to a return date yet. The astronauts have been in space now for 50 days on a mission that was supposed to last only a week, uh, about a week, I should say. CNN's Kristen Fisher here with us as always. Uh, this is the assignment that continues to grow for you, Kristen, <laughs> as it does for Sonny and Butch. And uh, officials just held a press conference and there's an update. Yes or no? Well, or we're for this? We, we got an update, but we didn't get a return date. That's what mm. everybody's been waiting for. It's what everybody's been hoping for. It didn't come. Now, both NASA leaders and Boeing leaders say that they've made great progress on the testing that they've been doing on the grounds in White Sands, New Mexico. They've been testing these thrusters that failed up in space on the ground, see if they can duplicate the efforts there. They say they've made progress, but not enough to give an actual return date. And listen to this. Uh, one of the NASA leaders that was on the call, Steve Stitch, he was asked point blank, can you definitively say that these two NASA astronauts, as NASA astronauts, Butch and Sonny, will definitively be coming home on this Starliner spacecraft? Mm. Here's what he said. Our focus today, as Mark said, as Mark and I have been working for the last uh, number of weeks, is to return Butch and Sonny on Starliner. I think we're starting to close in on those final pieces of the, the flight rationale to make sure uh, that we can come home safely. Um, and, and that's our primary focus right now. We have contingency options. We've put those in play. NASA always has contingency options. Uh, we know a little bit of what those are, and we haven't worked on them uh, a whole bunch, but we kind of know what those are. So even now, this many weeks in, NASA still saying that they can't definitively say that Butch and Sonny will be able to come home on this Starliner spacecraft. One more thing. You heard Steve talk about contingency yeah. plans. There are other ways, other spacecrafts that in a worst case scenario could get Butch and Sunny home. You've got the Russian Soyuz spacecraft. You've got SpaceX's Dragon capsule. Those are options, but at the moment, they're gonna continue with this testing and hopefully get these astronauts home on Starliner. Earliest would be likely mid-August, but they've gotta get back by uh, September because that's when the battery life runs out on Starliner. Bit of an unplanned uh, vacation, not vacation, kind of a, a working a vacation. Working vacation. Yeah. Part of the work that they went there to do, they received this really great uh, reception when they mm. first got on is because they were fixing a key part <laughs> of the uh, gear on the ISS. Yes. And the astronauts, we understand, had resorted to using bags mm. to hold some of their pee They're some peed. of their urine yeah. because yes. the crank something broke on the toilet the pump they brought the pump in uh -huh. do you have an update for us on on that situation yes the urine replacement pump uh <laughs> has been fixed it's working bags of astronaut urine are no longer just piling right. up at the mm -hmm. international space station so that's some really good news especially when you have two extra bodies up there than what you were planning for, right? Yeah. The downside for poor Butch and Sonny is that in order to get that pump up to the International Space Station, they had to take some gear out. And NASA chose to take out two of their personal suitcases. In those suitcases were their toiletries. So oh. things that you would want for an eight day stay, but things that you would definitely want for a several weeks long stay, don't worry, guys, there are replacements. Uh, some, they have a stash of it at the ISS, but it's not like your, it's not your toiletries, the brands you know and love. They don't have to <laughs> borrow someone else's deodorant, is what you're saying. I'm, let's hope not, right? I mean, <laughs> I guess it's first always question a when they get back. Yeah, a lot of questions for them. Hopefully, we'll know when they're getting <laughs> back soon. Yeah. Uh, Kristen Fisher, thank you so much for that.